know two reading vlogs in a row is weird, but this is a good one, I promise. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ishi and you are on Ishi Time. Today we're going on a cruise and I decided to bring The Assassination of Brain Rain Spurge with me because it's a kid's book and has lots of pictures. So even if I don't feel like reading because I'm like on vacation, I'll still read it because it'll be like a quick read. I'm super excited. That's why I decided to bring you guys along on a reading vlog. Copycat You know, when I said cruise, y'all probably thought it was going to be a nice cruise to the Caribbean or Mexico, but Welcome to Alaska, the state where it rains 500 days out of the year. And also welcome to voiceovers by me. I'm no Morgan Freeman, but I hope you enjoy this voiceover just as much. Anyways, our first stop was Ketchikan, the salmon capital of the world. Or is it the salmon capital of the United States of America? I'm not sure, but the point is they catch a lot of salmon, sell a lot of salmon, and eat a lot of salmon, I think. While reading, it felt like I read maybe like 20-ish pages worth of text, but when I looked, I was a good 80 pages in. That's because some of the chapters are pictures only, like the first chapter was all pictures, the second one was like a letter from one character to another, and the third one was all pictures as well. And the chapters that are like fully text, it's like pretty large text and it's a middle grade book so it is a bit like easier and a faster read but I'm 100% enjoying it a lot um, and like the pictures themselves are amazing like I love the illustrations in this book and it's just like an overall aesthetically pleasing book even this cover our next stop was Juno the capital of Alaska, if you are unaware. This is where we visited a glacier. I forgot what it was called, but I will put it up on the screen over here. This glacier 200 years ago was much, 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 much bigger than it is now. And 200 years from now, it will be much, much, much smaller than it is now because global warming saved the planet, everybody. The next place we visited was Skagway. The population of Skagway is only about 1,000. It's a very, very small town, very cold, even in the summer. Next, we sailed into Glacier Bay, where we got to see another glacier. Also very, very pretty. It's 11.30 at night, but it's still daylight. Because in Alaska, there's like 19 hours of daylight during this time of the year. Hello, and welcome to this messy, messy room. Anyways, I was going to film mini reviews for books that I read in April and the first half of June, but I happen to have forgotten the names of the main characters. And no matter how hard I'm trying to remember them, I can't remember them, and I don't have the books with me, so I just, I just don't know. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get back home so I can find out who those main characters were and film those mini reviews. And the thing is, they weren't bad books, like they were good books and I liked them, I just don't know why I can't remember the names of the main characters. The only names I remember are the names of the characters that were so annoying that I just can't forget their names. So, yeah, mini reviews are gonna have to wait. Anyways, I am on page 357 of this book, The Assassination of Brain Wayne Spurge. As you all know, I was expecting Brain Wayne Spurge to be like the main character, as in I expected to be reading through his point of view, but that is not true. We are reading through the point of view of the goblin who is hosting Brain Rain Spurge in his home. His name is Verfel. 
and he's a goblin and Brainmane Spurge is an elf who is sent to the goblin kingdom. I really don't know why it's called the assassination of Brainmane Spurge. I don't know if Brainmane Spurge is going to be assassinated. I mean, he's kind of like a main character, so I hope he's not assassinated. We will see. It's like a kid's book, so all the jokes and like the humor in it are like middle schoolish, but honestly, really loving it so far. 10 out of 10. I can foresee a 5 out of 5 Goodreads rating of this book. It's almost midnight, but it's like daylight. <sighs> it's kind of cold, so I am here in like blankets and it's also raining and my shoes are wet. But that's okay because it's pretty. Tonight is unfortunately our last night on the ship, so I am trying to enjoy all of the sights before we fly home tomorrow morning. I have reached the end of my trip and the end of my book. It was a kid's book, so it was pretty easy and fast read and the pictures were gorgeous. And I will talk more about this in my mini reviews, which is a video that is coming up next. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My name is Ishii. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. Bye.